以军日前在加沙地带南部的拉法才取定点军事行动，加沙的巴人非常担忧，更大的危机正在逼近。来看本台加沙特约记者阿克拉姆的报道。The bombardment is continuous. The influx of the people outside of the areas that are considered East Gaza, East Rafah area, that is now the place where most of the military fire exchange is taking place. Several number of people were killed. According to the reports coming from the field, houses were targeted and destroyed. People were killed and injured. But the Palestinian Minister of Health doesn't have enough statistics and information or a clear image about the things that are happening there, because of the intensity of the bombardment and because of the fact that this area is considered now a no-go zone, where the main hospital of Rafah, Abu Yusuf Al Najjar, is located also and was evacuated yesterday. One third of the population in Rafah. Have already left Rafah. Tens of thousands of internally displaced people also left Rafah. They're heading towards Rafah West area, that is considered a humanitarian zone. Khan Yunis and Central Gaza area are also areas that considered safe zones. People have been taking their tents and moving there. People have been communicating with their relatives and staying with them. And the ones who are still having their homes partially destroyed and still standing are fixing their homes in. East Rafah and West Rafah, and also Khan Yunis and Central Gaza, and sitting there, Palestinians are extremely skeptical and fearful when it comes to the intentions of the Israeli government. They have been seeing enough military escalation. They have been seeing the Israeli government turning a cold shoulder to demands of the international community. They have seen the Israeli occupation forces attacking areas despite the announced rejection of the United States administration. So they are fearful, and they understand that there is a looming. Bigger crisis that is coming for them, coming to them because of the fact that Israel is not interested in any kind of ceasefire, and they are likely to continue those activities and hostilities targeting the Gaza Strip and the whole population in it.